Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Mancier. I wanted to come and say hello. I wanted to to speak briefly about a certain subject, about the ascension process, this, uh, this interdimensional process that we are uh, going through. And so to understand the solution is already within ourselves and we have to let go of fear and move into love, to, to let go of the, the, the illusion of separation in order to return to that, uh, that understanding that all is one and one is all. For there was a great uh, pre-Socratic philosopher named Empedocle who already discovered that infinity was hiding within all things. For you are the I am, you are the great, uh, the great God, but, but it is the great secret the great, uh, that no one knows, that they are themselves the God they are seeking. For, for those, those reality of the ascension process is completely outside of the range of 99% of the population. They feel very comfortable within their limited beliefs. And so... But as we awaken spiritually, we have no choice. Once the Pandora's box is open, we have to reconsider all kinds of things that we we used to, uh, to, to we used to, to that we didn't even question before. But now we have to put in question in order to find our own truth alignment into this higher frequency. It is as if uh, we, we will have a remote control with unlimited channel and frequency. But as the 3D world, we we only fr on the, the only channel we've been looking at is a black and white channel, and it's like very sometimes it's sometimes it's kind of nice and sometimes there's a lot of commercials on it too and then um, but sometimes there's a lot of dramas and nightmares that have been projected on this channel but you only have to switch the, the channel to to move into the higher frequency when there is no advertisement you choose you select on the fourth dimension and fifth and sixth and seventh dimension and any other dimension it is like it is unlimited uh, unlimited potential in, in knowing that you have the access you have access and control from within your, your own consciousness to tune in to, to use that uh, that um, that remote control to tune in to any frequency and it is like a, it is on the basis of the next we we are as we we align we, we are able through, through the through the alignment we, we are able to tune in with to frequencies that we have all kinds of a whole eventai of possibilities of frequency in relation to any potential for now we have one one reality before us but as we grow we'll, we'll have multiple choices always in front of us to choose and decide for heaven and hell is, is just a private reality that we are creating for ourselves. So choose choose heaven, let go of all the separation. For in a sense, we, we are the I am, but the I am is the, the there is the greater me, the, the, that is God, and then there is the small me that is the soul. And then there is the real the real me that is God, and there's the false me that is the ego. For we are we, we all have that and uh, the individual we are created as the equal of God, but we are the smaller self, and we have to let go of that false self and reconnect to our higher self that is God there is no other for God is one <laughs> in the sense that if God is one you cannot be anything nothing can be separated from that one can be excluded from that one understand that that principle of unity and inclusion for, uh, for for this God self is the only direction to navigate is the only your only pilot your only direction to tune in to ask your God self to navigate you from circuit to circuit from level to level all the way back to the source to the paradise father of all all, all source and so or to whatever God frequency you can tune into or feel comfortable with but we have to let go of this darker matrix we've been enslaved in this belief system. Uh, so we, we have to, to uh, uh, also to understand that God is the only one that can that can that decides. Huh? We make those choices, and then God responds to those choices. But if we make those choices because God wants it, us to make those choices, and and, and we just receive a receptor. <coughs> we are like a cup, and whatever we choose, we as if we are an empty cup. God fills it up with with His light and love all the time. It is a constant exchange. And and and, it is, and so there is there is a, a great deal of uh, meaning in this relationship between you and your creator, your source. As you develop, you become more comfortable. You have to you have to, to to find the right conduct in the presence of God. That's why the adjuster is here. The I am presence is gonna as we fuse, we'll be able to tune into that to have a better understanding of who God is, and then we eventually will so we'll be uh, we can um, guarantee a safe conduct in the presence of God. It would be an absolutely. Uh, um, completely unjustified to have fear or have anything when you come to the presence of God for God is love and, and you have to be fully prepared and this I am presence is, is your God self and so, so that's what you we're tuning into and um I wanted to say about uh, that we, we have to, to, to do what we can unless we're really uh, to do what we can to, to remove ourselves from pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical are creating their, their, um, if we have no choice then sometimes we have no choice but uh, 
we do always do have the choice. I mean, if you're already implicated, we have to take a lot of pharmaceutical. You have to tune into your inner self, your inner presence, which is not easy when, you, when you're in the pharmaceutical because it disconnects you from your intuition. It creates a, this separation from the intuition. It makes the left brain very active, but it disconnects the right brain. And so... And it makes us insensitive to the higher function. But in a sense, we want to return to herbal and energetic. And in Atlantis, there was energetic uh, um, energetic chambers where we'd come in and you would just, no matter what the illness, the right crystal, the right sound, the right light frequency would realign you to the original state of health and well-being. Focus on that health and well-being. And whenever a pharmaceutical or man create a illness, for most of the illness that we have are being created by pharmaceutical. They're not natural illness. They've been created to sell products product to make people sick so they can make money for, for it is not it's just they, it's a game that they play but it's uh, but we want to disconnect from that and, and whenever that happens there is a the earth is producing a new plant that solved the problem but uh, scientists there are a lot of scientists that are investigating those things for that that really want to heal and so they're, they're realizing that 90 percent of the healing plants have not been investigated for the potential of healing so we're going to be returning to a new um to, to a new new uh, new sense of, 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 of health through, through the through new uh, understanding of what what can heal us really uh, what we want is to clear up the roots and, and then we'll be free for all the problems come from the roots our chakras the problems are never created from the outside they're always created by us from inside now it's a, it's by our lack of understanding by our, our, our naivety so we have to, as we become aware we're tuning in and we we realign to the original state that God has created us perfect in a sense when we first came down we were 12-dimensional being on Lemuria and then Atlantis we, there was a slow descent then uh, 26,000 years Atlantis was halfway destroyed and then it completely got destroyed 12,000 years ago so, um, so so in essence once we find this well-being and this this uh, we know we are well we find this peace of mind we learn to live in the void in the silence of our mind we begin to feel good now you can ask yourself what how can i feel even better and ask to feel even better and find the soul that makes you feel even better then do it again then find another soul that makes you feel even better there is no limitation on the, on the feeling of well-being that we can achieve and so uh, we want to return to to a more uh, we're going to be returned to more, or another thing very important that you know, we've been involved as light workers in a very mystical process of ascension but we're going to be brought back to the earth plane to deal with the earth plane but we're going to be able to sit with new eyes with new uh, with more compassion new understanding new lucidity and so we'll uh, uh, we have to understand when we ask we have to receive when when we knock the door opens and when when we seek we find and, and that is a pre eternal principle but know that if you do not believe that there will be a gap between the time of asking and the time of spirit response otherwise it, it's, it will come really quickly the, the, the gaps are, are coming closer Understanding the universe will play just as much our illusion as the truth. The, the, both the truth and the illusion are being played because uh, it is part of this, this, this matrix. It's part of this duality principle. So, so whatever fear we have, God will play, play those fears just as a love for, for all that is fear, that is uh, regret, that is sorrow, that is, uh, that is uh, not enjoyable. It's part of the illusion. What is joy? What is happiness? What is fulfillment? What is health? It's part of the truth. But uh, both of the, the matrix have, have, have a parallel reality. And, and they're confronting each other but the, the, now we moved into this age of Aquarius the light will always win now it's not, uh, the, the dark used in the, during the dark age the, the, the light had very little power to overcome the darkness because it was an age of darkness the age of decadence but now the age of light has come and nobody can stop this process it is too powerful it is, it is the, great, the, the great central sun that is, that, is, uh, that is invading everything and that will eventually burn out all the, all the, all, all the costs cosmic debris and all the darkness and so even the dark souls are beings of light they will be they, 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 we, everything comes from the light everything is made out of light that is the nature of the illusion the separation from source and so um, understanding also consciousness will never end our soul may have a beginning but it has no end it means that as we were created we'll never end there cannot be any end to a, no matter what even if our life physical life ends we'll continue with the program uh, every, every soul that was created will continue to exist it has to be transmuted harmonized everything has, has life within it even thought form 
and the, the, the more we hold the salt foam, the more uh, the more it becomes uh, it getting momentum. So so for, do not spend too much time focusing on, on what is not wanted. Let go as soon as possible and move into something that is wanted and, and fuel that, put love and light into that. Um, I also wanted to say that there is there is frequency of light that is silver, silver light, gold light, and platinum light. Those are divine light that we embody within ourselves. Our own DNA strand is coated with gold, and the more gold we have, the, 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 the more it will expand into, into new strands. And then eventually this gold frequency is the Christ light frequency, the white, the gold white light. But the silver light is a very powerful light of the future, and the platinum light is a very powerful, powerful light that will uh, give us a, a lot of wisdom and power but we can also use those those um, those physical metal as gold silver and platinum uh, for physical healing those are very very powerful for me i'm having a hard time wearing silver because my skin tones blue i never wear silver but i know it has it has very spiritual power so i might uh, i might i might be more handling it um, for gold and, um, and platinum as well i don't really have that much access right now to gold and platinum but they are very very powerful uh, healer in, in frequency I have a project that I will soon uh, come together. I want to make those those, um, those jewelry that will not be for like uh, beautification of the external body, but that will be uh, solely uh, or, com or mostly they will be pretty, but they will be mostly in order to find this to, to increase the, the the spiritual reality, the light within yourself through the wearing those those empowered uh, jewelry. There are many people that are already doing that, but I thought I bring my own. Uh, my own. Uh, I'll do my own project on on that level. Also, when I say when you take a plane. If you don't have access to gold or platinum, for it is better in gold and platinum is to wear bracelets, rather not like sin, but uh, like substantial bracelet in gold and platinum. Or if you can use copper, if not, but it will protect your aura. It seals the aura because when we travel in a plane, we, we sometimes we, we move outside of the pulse of Schumann and we disconnect our aura is being disconnected from the from the the Earth Star Chakra, and so that creates as well we're jet lag and we're tired after traveling. So if you can wear those bracelet in in copper, if, you, if the copper is, is easy to easy to find, it's not that expensive, but it's better. To use gold or platinum, and to to use that, uh, it would be good to have to have like a large diamonds on each hand. To to, to Metatron was talking about three and a half carat on each hand to completely seal the aura when you're taking a taking a trip outside of the, the spirits of Schumann. But already we're wearing silver bracelet for those who travel a lot could be very useful in, in uh, for for their health. And uh, I will come back to, to speak about uh, Epicure, for it is a philosopher, I'm becoming really close, although I, sometimes I feel more stoic, um, I will, uh, but it's, it's a very powerful philosopher, somebody that's influencing my life. Uh, so my next video, I might do it today actually, uh, but I will post this video online whenever I have inter internet access, when I have a chance. So I uh, also wanted to say that it's good to, to try to see, to do your best, to, to, to eventually it will become natural to see the God self within other people. To see that even if they don't see it, they don't want to see that, you, you, you can recognize that the God, God is within them. And that just that makes, you, makes, makes your own God self happy. When you say Namaste or Namaskar, it is your own God self recognizing the God self of someone else. And so, so to recognize that there is this divine presence within all beings. Most beings, I mean, except the clones, maybe for their clones in society as well. Well, I'm sure this will come into the when the time comes. This will be discussed. For for right now, there will be a lot of frustration if we try to do things the old way. That's why there's a lot of political dead ends um, because the three-dimensional matrix is dissolving. So there'll be a lot of frustration. So we have to move into the present, accept, the, to find the solution within the present, and and to let it flow, to let the, to to be able to adjust whatever comes in in the present, um, and, and to trust. That that will happen, and to follow your nose when it comes to the alignment. If you are not talking about physical sense, uh, sense from the outside world, but when you it, if you, the senses are, are becoming more uh, sensitive as we purify our body, and when you feel a divine sense, a sense that elevates you, means you're into a, coming into an alignment. You don't already know what alignment or what it is, but and then sometimes it, it leaves you, and then you feel like oh, we move out of the alignment. But then as you cultivate that, that sense return. It is this alignment with all the, all the soul beings, all of your family, soul family, and your and your own soul that is that is revealing those things. So, 
Well, I hope this message will have made sense for you and that will be useful. I hope you work with those uh, those, those ideas. Those, for, for, uh, for, but, but then I understand we, we are going to be returned to, to a very uh, down-to-earth path and all, the, all, all these mystical things will still continue to go on, but we are asked to return to the world and, and to see it with the eyes of love and compassion. For the, for the few cards, the highest wisdom uh, is uh, is the three of Gabriel. It is a great it is a great adventure that is before us. It says that success is to is to be uh, to be ready, time to overcome to to uh, to undertake new steps, uh, optimist project that materialize as schedule. For oh, here she's getting ready for this great trip. So it is great adventure that is before us. It's quite wonderful. Then what we what we need to understand is the king of Ariel, prosper, stable, gifted, powerful. Your projects are happening as it should, professional and financial success, utilizing your your resources uh, with wisdom. So it is, uh, it is it is the investor. It is to be able to shine the light on others. It is the time of harvest. What we need to do is trust in yourself, the archangel Metatron. Trust in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what brings you joy. So it is the fool. The fool has no fear. Don't the fools have no fear? But then, it's about, once you have no fear, you can leap into the into the future. This will happen more and more. And the outcome is this magical card of the star, the archangel Jophiel, the beautiful Jophiel. Uh, dreams are becoming a reality. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So it is all ending. The, the new is already there. So uh, I hope you, you you find this enjoyment and, and, and I'm sure you will. And as you know, the more you know, the more you trust, the more it comes to you and the more just remain in gratitude and modesty and, and then things will unfold in humility. And, and then you, as you find your empowerment, you follow your inner guidance and your inner voice and you believe you, you regain this self-confidence in order to do greater things. I finish with this song, it's a French song, it's a romantic song about this girl. Says, uh, says someone who meets this, this, this dream girl and he says, I'm going to give you uh, all the boats, all the birds, all the suns, all the roses and all those beautiful things will be yours, I will give them to you. It's very romantic. It goes like this from Michel Polnareff with the words of Jean-Louis Dabadi, 1969. Je te donnerai tous les bateaux, tous les oiseaux, tous les soleils. Toutes les roses, toutes les choses qui t'émerveillent, petite fille de ma rue, tu n'as jamais vu tous les bateaux, tous les oiseaux, tous les soleils, l'île au trésor et les fruits d'or et les abeilles. Ne pleure pas, petite fille, moi je t'ai rêvé, tu es venu. Oh, mon enfant, mon inconnu, je t'ai trouvé dans cette rue. Je te donnerai tous les bateaux, tous les oiseaux, tous les soleils. Je t'apprendrai le bruit des villes, le nom des îles, petite fille de ma rue. Tu n'as jamais vu les goélands et les images de l'aurore Quand l'océan n'était encore qu'un paysage Ne pleure pas, petite fille Viens, il y a des voiles sur les étoiles Ô oh, mon enfant, mon inconnu il y a bas, loin de ta rue. Je te donnerai tous les bateaux, tous les oiseaux, tous les soleils, toutes les roses, toutes les choses qui t'émerveillent, petite fille de ma rue. Je te donnerai les océans, les goélands et les fruits d'or, L'île au trésor et les grands balles sur les étoiles Ne pleure pas, oh mon amour
Ah, je vous remercie. I thank you very much for sticking till the end. I hope this message was interesting for you. I will continue to discuss. I'm going to, to, I mean, do this video about APQ. I will put them online as, as it becomes, uh, as it becomes uh, available to me. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Salut.